to our client care representatives, our coordinators, our call center operators, and our administrative staff at Guardian Brewster, Guardian Emergency Middletown, and Armory Dog and Cat for all that you do every day for each client and every single patient, for the care you give, the ear you lend, the shoulder, and all of your hearts, you are so appreciated. For being the front lines of our hospital, for the hard work and dedication you bring to this team and this family, thank you just doesn't seem enough. We are so looking forward to continuing to build a future together to serve our community and their loved ones. So this is Goku. He is a five-year-old male neutered uh, New Finland, and he is part of our, he's one of the dogs that's coming in to donate blood, so that way we can use it for other dogs that need to get blood transfusions in the hospital. And he was such a good boy. We didn't have to sedate him with anything. He just laid here quietly while Jamie held him. And yeah, hopefully his blood will save a life. Good job, buddy. When we get to about right here, this is where the middle ear is. And you can see all of that brightness right there. On the other side, not so much. We can actually follow the ear canal right out. So that's the ear canal on either side. So this is what they're moving. Right? That right there. Yep, and you can see that's where she was talking about it infiltrated the brain. Mm -hmm. And also on this view right here, we can see it as well. You come over to this side, all of that right there. This is a pug who has, for most of his life, had chronic ear disease, and um, he most recently had um, started to have a head tilt to the right, uh, which is significant for an inner ear problem, and he was treated by his vet. He's been on and off antibiotics for a long time. Um, his vet most recently did a procedure to try to clean out the middle ear is called a myringotomy, where you go from the external ear canal down in through the eardrum into the middle ear. And so the vet did that in an attempt to get a culture of whatever bacteria are growing there and also flush it out. Um, that procedure can be helpful in identifying whatever bacteria are present, but you don't have a big enough window if there's a lot of debris in his middle ear. And so the next step was to do an MRI to try to diagnose further exactly what the problem is. He had that done yesterday. It does appear that he has, well, he definitely has a lot of debris in his middle and inner ear. And it's actually, in his case, uh, because there's nowhere for the middle ear to drain, it's tracking up into the area under his brain and it's starting to cause signs of brain disease. So the treatment for that is to do what we're about to do, called the bulla osteotomy which is where we actually make a bigger hole into a different part of the middle ear, which is like a bony sphere. And when we drill that hole, then we are able to flush out the debris and actually pull it out. So it's a much bigger window than you would get with the myringotomy going through the eardrum. Hopefully after doing that, we'll get him, and do a culture as well, so we'll get him on the right antibiotics and he'll start to heal and his brain signs will resolve over the next few weeks. This is what we're pulling out of the, the middle ear. And this uh, never would have come out with just a, just through the eardrum. It's too thick and it's too chronic. It's just big chunks, pieces of pus essentially from inside the middle ear. We're even clogging up the drain. So this dog, there was really nowhere for this material to drain. Let me see if I can pull this out. Wow. So this just was lining the entire middle ear cavity and also filled with pus. So this is this dog's gonna feel a lot better. And hopefully this will give a place for that 
yeah. infection that's up in the brain to continue to drain out the same way it went up in the brain, it's going to drain back out. So this is, this is great. Very good for this dog.